Hi, welcome to Movie Review Mom. I'm the mom and I do the movie reviews and also documentary reviews and trailer reactions. But today I'm doing a documentary review for a film called Misha and the Wolves. This Netflix original documentary airs on August 11th, 2021. It's sort of rated PG-13, and it's an hour and 30 minutes. I say sort of because documentaries don't receive the in-theater movie ratings that we usually expect, but I would actually give an equivalent of a PG, PG-13. So uh, let me give you an overview in a nutshell where I'll point out things I liked and didn't like, as well as offer tips for parents, themes worth talking about, and some recommendations for other movies you might also enjoy if you like this one. So let's dive in. In a nutshell, a woman's dramatic memoir of surviving the Holocaust takes the world by storm until a falling out causes her publisher to investigate the veracity of her claims. The Holocaust story of Misha and the Wolves is fascinating enough, but writer and director Sam Hopkinson takes us on a deeper dive with unexpected twists and turns, making for an entertaining and intriguing puzzle. So the things that I liked include the fact that I didn't really have any expectations. I didn't know anything about the film or the story before I began watching it. So I had no preconceptions received notions, and that made it more fun. The story itself and the story behind it are both mysterious and compelling. Not knowing anything about the story in this film actually makes the viewing experience more enjoyable. And this review is going to be intentionally short because I don't want to slip up and give away any spoilers. It makes it a lot more fun if you don't know anything about it. So my niece's name is Misha. So of course, I had to watch this film. And as an author, I was fascinated to watch the rise of book sales in Europe and in the United States as the story unfolds. It's interesting to see pictures and videos of Belgian Holocaust survivor Misha de Fonseca as a little girl to adulthood. All right, that's all I'm going to say about the good stuff, other than I thought that the writer and director actually did a very, very good job. So there were some things I didn't like. First of all, beware of reviews because there are parties on both sides of this lawsuit that are posting extremely high and extremely low reviews on various sites. The two parties of the original lawsuit are Jane Daniel and Misha De Fonseca. And again, I don't want to give anything away. I'm just saying some of the reviews might be skewed. Mine's not, of course, because I have no interest in one site or the other. And plus, I always give honest reviews. And then another thing that you need to know is that the bulk of the documentary addresses the lawsuit rather than the story about how Misha was able to survive with wolves in the forest during World War II. So let me give you some tips for parents. First of all, kids are going to be very bored after the first part of the film where you get to learn about the woman who um, claimed to live with wolves and survive in the forest during World War II after her parents were taken away and killed probably. You see pictures and videos of, con of a concentration camp in Germany, but nothing that would really frighten children like lots of dead bodies, although the gas chamber is mentioned. And then ultimately, some people just don't enjoy watching documentaries for whatever reason. And this is definitely a documentary. So let me give you some of the themes that are definitely worth talking about. They are truth versus lies, greed, memory, history, imagination, and coping with reality. And by the way, my husband has always wanted to make one of those evidence boards that's illustrated in this movie. And so he got all excited when he saw that. So I always share funny lines and interesting lines with you while I'm reviewing. And I write them all down so that I can share them with you. And I also have all of them included on my moviereviewmom.com website. So you can see them all there. But when it came to funny lines, I didn't write down anything. This is a serious documentary. And of course, it's really hard to be very playful and whimsical when you're talking about 
the Holocaust. Uh, but I did write down a couple of interesting lines. One of them is spoken by one of the researchers in the documentary, and she says, it's human to believe. And then actually, I can't tell you any of the other lines because I don't want to be giving away any spoilers. But the movie review mom grade I'm giving this documentary is an A. I thought it was very well done. It kept me engaged the entire time. So let me point out just a few recommendations of movies about children surviving war and the Holocaust. And I've seen a bunch of them recently. And I was straining my brain trying to even remember what the names of them were. Uh, but I recently saw one called The Resistance, which is based on a true story. Another famous one is called The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. And that one also is a classic one. But again, there are so many more, so many available on Netflix and on Amazon Prime. So if you're interested in that genre, just do a quick search, you know, in the search bar of either one of those platforms, and you will find tons of them. It's such a fascinating part of history. And I think all of us would agree it was the darkest point of history and humankind, how we could have treated each other that way. It's just mind boggling to me. There are many lessons to be learned, many acts of heroism, and many amazing movies filmed for about that time period. All right, that's it for my review. I hope that if you watch this, that you do enjoy it. I think it's fascinating and a real great look at human psyche and the need to belong and the uh, hope, which of course is my favorite theme, um, but also what we do to survive in extremely difficult situations. All right, that's it for today. I will catch you in the next movie review or documentary review or movie trailer reaction. Until then, bye for now.